This is Striker Avenue. This is Metal Gear Solid 5 Truck Driving Adventures. Why? Well, because Adventures in Truck Driving is a little too long for these titles that they give me. But, uh, so you ever wanted to ride in the back of a truck and just see what happens in Metal Gear Solid 5? Well, then, Jesus, you must be really bored. In Mission 4, you can get in the back of a truck, and it follows this route about here. It kind of follows the outer perimeter. And you'll find that actually most missions, they do actually have a vehicle, uh, a truck that will uh, drive around the perimeter, and it'll go through town to town. And oftentimes, it's obviously meant for to get in your way. Now, uh, in order to get in the back, put your marker uh, up there, uh, just kind of before the, uh, the first area. Uh, this is Mission 4, like I said, uh, CW2. Like I said it, this truck actually drives around the area in a lot of different missions, and it does in free roam as well, or when you're doing side ops or stuff like that. Um, you don't necessarily have to do it at this exact uh, spot. You will notice on other missions, though, that there will actually be two guys in the back of the truck. That seems to add a little bit more time and how long it takes for the stops to happen. So, you can do this in other missions, but I saw it done one time uh, in this mission for another reason. And I thought, hey, why not? Uh, but it actually gives you a pretty good understanding on how the game works and whatnot. And uh, you were going to have a little bit of fun at it, too. So, I don't, you don't always need to take these guys out. And quite honestly, if somebody finds them and they uh, need to be woken up, uh, you're going to end up sending an alert. And that's kind of one of the things that I noticed, is that when... Uh, especially, well, the, not necessarily the truck driver, but when one guard finds another guard... You know, then they'll put the whole area on alert. And that actually means this entire area of the map, you'll find that all of the guard uh, routes and patrols are changed. And they will all be with their guns drawn, looking around. Uh, you'll still be able to trigger reflex mode. See, all you need to do is just kind of keep running. He slows down for those barriers, and then you can get in the back. Uh, like I said, usually you want to get down right away, but I realized that I tranked that guy, and he must have, like, saw me, so he started to come out to the middle of the road. But, yeah, you, you don't want to really do this because, yeah, now, like, all the guards will be on this heightened alert. All their, all their patrol routes are going to be changed now. Uh, and they're going to be in constant, you know, looking mode. And eventually, you know, that mode will go down, but they'll still kind of be on alert. They'll still have their guns on the ready. So if you can help it, uh, don't try to alert them. Patrols are everywhere. Yeah, when on the road, you'll see these patrols. Um, you've probably run into them before. You've probably been trying to take over an outpost, and all of a sudden these two extra little guys uh, with radio packs Analysis. come by. Uh, you'll actually find that, especially in this part of the map, uh, there's like three or even four of these patrols where these two little guys will go from one outpost to the next, uh, and then they'll kind of go back and forth. So you'll always have these guys out there, and they always are there to reinforce a particular outpost if it's under attack. So wildlife priority, that means, uh, you know, your truck driver won't run over the wildlife uh, if he can help it. Yeah, he'll, he'll blow the horn and uh, he'll actually do it for the troops as well, you'll see in a second. He doesn't always, it seems like the, uh, the patrols, I was actually able to have him hit a sheep one time. But I wasn't looking at it, so I didn't I didn't record it. So it is possible he will run wildlife over, uh, but it's pretty rare. He always stops and usually blows his horn. See, that time he actually blew it for those guys. But typically, those patrols will automatically run off to the side when a truck is going by. So, yeah, uh, wildlife has priority, uh, even even with really, really bad guys. Yeah, it was a part of the pause. And apparently, uh, it even does it with your dog. You'll see a Jeep that's pulling in right now. He's gonna circle around, 
and I'm thinking that he's the one that saw me, but it's actually, I believe, somebody else in front of the building. This is Mission 21, I believe. See, I, I, I'm thinking I get spotted, so my dog is with me in full battle armor. <laughs> he just tells it to get out of the way. It's kind of nice that the enemies don't ever target the dog. But yeah, uh, he didn't didn't run it over. And these are a few things you don't ever want to do. Uh, I don't know what happened to that guy. I didn't kill him. But the truck driver gets out. He takes a look at him for a little bit. And he doesn't actually radio in uh, the fact that this guy's dead. Probably because he's not actually... Yeah, he says son of a bitch. Probably because he's not actually at an outpost. So, But yeah, he doesn't even call it in. I guess maybe everyone's already on alert. I don't know. But I didn't actually kill him. He scratches his head and that's about it. Uh, you don't want to get seen in the back of the truck. You might think, well, maybe if I just lay down, they won't see me. Um, you can try that. Um, you can see how long it lasts. But yeah, once they've seen you, they will just keep shooting. And it's not going to be too good. <laughs> they'll, they'll use grenades. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> Poor snake. Here I just finished tranking a guy. This is, well, it's still adventures in trucking. Uh, I, I ran out of uh, lethal rounds, so I figured, you know what? Why don't I just help these guys to the next afterlife, huh? <laughs> He's dead. <laughs> yeah, you can, you can run them over when they're when they fell asleep. So that's pretty much it. Hey, go find yourself a map, find the truck, figure out a way. Maybe throw out a decoy, uh, get the truck drivers to stop, and then maybe hop in the back and, and just kind of see the route they take. Um, you can't really, as long as you lay down, you're pretty safe inside the truck. So yeah, try this on a couple different missions. Uh, see if you can maybe find some interesting stuff going on. And if anything, you'll learn a little bit more about uh, nearby neighbors, you know, the, the bad guys. I forget what we call them. Oh well, take it easy. Peace out. See ya!